Hello and welcome back. This is Through Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. We do have another special guest in the building, a personal friend, and he's an Afrofusion singer songwriter whose sound is largely influenced by Afrobeats, high life, and RB. He grew up listening to P Square and MI's albums, which sparked his interest in music. His music takes him on a holiday through effortless range and spirited songwriting. He has collaborated with many Bad Boy Tims, Buju, Lo J, and has worked with Grammy winning producer Tells. His music has surpassed over a million streams across digital platforms. Please let's welcome Lime. Come bless us with your presence. Come, come, come. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Lime. Who did that be with the Who did this? Give me her phone number. Her address, <laughs> picture. So I need to. We need to go out, sit down with her. Ask her many questions. Well, 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 well. No denying. No, no, it's a true life story. To be honest, yeah, I'll just be honest with you guys in like in a very fast way. So <laughs> the song is like it's old. This is when I started trying to work on the um, current EP that I just finalized. Mm. So, and I've been working on this project for, for like from time. So this totally was done in like lockdown. Right. And you know lockdown affected a lot of things, even people's love lives, because yeah. some of our wives were stuck in the other side yeah. of the state. So I had this girl, she was stuck on the other side in Abuja, mm. and I was in Lagos. And like, it was at that particular point, she was we were going to log ahead, because like, I was trying to find out what I was doing in my life as they've locked the whole world and mm. she was just trying to make me come stay with her. Mm. So I was just trying to make her understand like this is what I want to do but then it just built up to that particular song. Right. So at what point did she cover you? She, uh, <laughs> I, that, that's the thing. I was hoping she would cover, cover me. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, but well, you know women now, but I love them still. Though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, but yeah. let's talk about something that really bothered me. You know, the whole world don't know this, but I'm sure a lot of your fans actually know about it. Let's talk about the insecurity, you know, not just, you know, with the bandits, you know, the Boko Haram and all of those people and the people that are also supposed to be enforcing the law, mm. actually the ones, you know, Taking out their problems on us and you know holding us beyond you know I heard you were held back for yeah, yeah, yeah. forty two hours. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell us that story. It's 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 just it's just you know it's it's a thing of profiling you know. Mm. It's, and I feel I won't I won't sound like other people that will say uh, Nigeria will not better all that and now it will get better if like we start understanding that creativity starts from mm. inside our country like. Because my hair is like this doesn't mean I'm doing something wrong. Like mm. at these, these days, they, they don't have to have anything on you to carry you. Like yeah. you they just have to look like, and they will just and like. And to be honest, I really hope that one day it will happen. But then the government has to invest a lot into the entertainment sector mm. for Protect us. other peop sectors to even reach Respect that it, yeah. sector. Yeah. So yeah, because like I was held, I was held back. Like I was recording in the studio got rid of it and like it's yeah the hotel no it was a normal house estate they, mm. they came, came in into the estate, they beat the security the, of the estate they, they came beat into, the security yeah, yeah, why yeah, yeah. I, I really don't know i was i was just trying to record i just came outside to try and microwave food and i saw um i don't want to call the um please call them out yeah yeah, yeah, they yeah it was there was some um the, they called drug the drug law enforcement right. whatever okay. whatever okay. they cool. claimed they they Whatever they claim, yeah. yeah, had an insider. But like, we're asking you how you got into the house, and like, do you have a warrant? And like, mm. the next thing, your warrant is you're gone. Like, you're bringing mm. out your gun and stuff like that. It was a horrible night. I had to um, get out, you know. Um, yeah. yeah. But was, right, you're back yeah, here now. What's yeah. that thing that keeps you moving? A lot of people go to so they go take their house and be like, ah, oh, they'll have changed their oh, hair you know, and like, you know. No, I just, I just, I just, you, you know, do you, do you know the plot twist? Right. I just did my hair today, this morning again, <laughs> this new one. That, I'm not even done washing it off. Like, wow. I, I just put it because like, like, bro, the fact that you stopped me because of this, one day somebody big will stop me because of this too. Mm. Since everybody is stopping like everybody, I appreciate mm. you understand. Mm. And at the end of the day, I just have to like do it for the brand. I have that's to still keep on going. What's my, yeah, what's like what's my, pushing you so much? My mom. Hmm. Firstly, I always remember so, my mom and I knew so. that before she passed away, she knew that she never really supported it at first, but like before she passed away, she knew that, okay, this it's boy is clearly yeah, not gonna stop. And like, yeah, so we focused on that. And secondly, people that have, have always like Literally. believed in me, cause like, I'm not, I don't have, I'm, I'm not an artist under the typical label, label per se, but I have people that are in charge. 
of right. certain things and yeah. they follow up and I cannot let them now down per se. Like if mm. you look at my manager, mm. he's always here before he's probably at the venue before me and all these things. Just, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we know what we need to solve that. We need yeah. to like move you into his house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We he spoke about that. We spoke we, 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 to, we, we, yeah. we're gonna get we'll get another place for that. Thank you for adding that billion too. Yeah. Is it that billion? Because like yeah, but like aside from that things are that then my friends like like I have a good support system. My my friends um they take, they come through for me. My photographer is here. He's my guy. Mm. And everybody did. So I just know I have to do this for everybody. You as well. You, 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 you've loved Absolutely. my music from time. So mm. I know okay, that I have to keep on doing <laughs> it to get to this yeah. table here mm. and get to bigger tables and this table get bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I, I, I want to know though, like you've mentioned a few things. Why did you start making music professionally? Because I know you're very aware of the climate. This is not America where like things are a lot more easier or anything like yeah. that. You know the resistance being a man, yeah, the yeah, pressure yeah. and everything. Why did you decide that I'm still gonna do this professionally, like all in? I did, I know to sabi book. So like <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me retreat for education is beautiful, trust me, because like I, I I've I've left I've left school and yeah. like even my peers that went to school and were serious in school, they are doing very well in their mm. fields. The same way I'm okay, they are okay. Yeah. So I'm not gonna I'm not I, I, anybody anybody that tells you that education not shame, no is yeah. not important <laughs> is is that's cap. Yeah. You need it, you need to go to school. But I didn't really know like I didn't wasn't really interested in school that much and um you really know yeah, yeah, I know come to <laughs> English too much. I don't know book. So I'm just like, okay, let me just try and do that. And at that time, I was doing music on my ones because my producer we used to live together. So I've always been, I've always had the access, access here. Yeah. And like we used to do some type of things whereby we use school fees to buy studio equipment. No, and he did there, not just say that. Yeah, there are a lot of, a lot of <laughs> some sacrifices that were made for me to know, okay, this is what I want to do. Right. So yeah. Okay, so your sound though, very unique. Yeah. Very manly. I know that you're not thinking about me when you're writing your song. This is the first song I can say now that That's like, like that Lime like, actually thought about the female crowd or whatever. And I'm glad. I was probably thinking about you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm glad okay. that you have that unique oh, <laughs> 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 that you have that unique sound, yeah, yeah, that you have I feel like it's really part of your personality and stuff. Yeah, yeah, did you yeah. always um when you had access to music, did you always know that that's your style of music or did you discover it from, from playing around? Plot twist was like, I started rapping. I started rapping at first. Anyway. I, I, started, I, started, I, was, okay. I was a rapper. I went to Babcock University. Anybody hey, that's watching. Hey, my guy. I went to Babcock. For real? Word, word, word. I knew there was something about you. Yeah, yeah, me too, me too, me too. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 she found it. But yeah, <laughs> yeah I, went, I, went, I went to Babcock University and I, I was a rapper then. And like, um, I didn't really have like a proper structure. Like even at that time, the only person I even believed in me was David Anthony. He's um, he was my first manager. Mm. He shoots for um, Whiskey. Yeah, we know David. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was the first person that actually to record my first song. He had to um, all love to his dad. We had to scam his dad to collect money to buy a speaker to use to pay this, use the speaker to pay. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. So because because we're running yeah. out of time, I want to talk, touch yeah. on the most important thing, which yeah. is your la latest project. Yeah, beautiful. How can people support that? Where can they go to all of that stuff before we let you go? Well. I'm about to drop one of the hardest projects. Um, you said what you said. Period. If not the artist. Yeah, I didn't want to save myself. Right, it's really. okay. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Shout out to everybody that has been rooting for me from the jump and everybody that's still doing it. But this project has a bunch of people on it. I mm. got. I got LAX on it, I got Zlatan on it, I got mm. YP on it, I got mm. Azanti on it. So, yeah. mm. It's a six song project and it's going to be out. Uh, actually, the first song of the project is out tomorrow, Money Medicine. Mm. This song on my shirt, Purple Rain. A drop with um, Psycho Absolutely. YP, Alrighty. Psycho and we can YP. find you as Lime. Um, Lime on every digital platform. You heard that yeah, Lime, right. Lime only on every social media platform. And that's right. on period. Love and that love. is a wrap, guys. Unfortunately, that is all that we can take for today. But thank you yeah. so much. Please feel free to join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time. Remember, they can also go to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. Do your thing. Subscribe, binge. We're also on Arctic TV and in London on Ben Television. Thank you to Neymar for stepping down to social distancing. If I was for keeping it jiggy. Cool. my absolute amazing guest and real life man and air boy also that was there in the beginning my entire production team thank you so much my name remains if you enjoy your day